Something I want to talk about today is kind of a little bit of, about the gotcha scene in general. So we've had games like Nike and No Break come out and going full on the lewdness. And, you know, that's nothing new to sell the characters for the gotcha to get all the kids tempted to spend money and all that stuff. You got to make the characters attractive in some way, shape or form. But when it comes to Nike and Snow Break and uh, a couple of other gotcha games, there, they've, they've really gone. They've really gone to the end of things. They really are going far and I feel like they've had quite a bit of success. Especially if you take a look at Snow Break, they were doing less than a mil each month and then all of a sudden they go full loot and they made two million the following month as soon as that dropped. And so it's been shown to be successful and I think gotcha games have really taken note to that. And I think they're really like upping the ante about that sort of stuff and uh, we can see it with some of the games I play as well. And right here, Shang Li Midnight Podcast is from Weathering Wave they uploaded this a couple of days ago. I already watched it. Well, I didn't even fully watch it because I kind of understood what it was. It's basically five minutes of Shang Li doing ASMR. And it's called Midnight Podcast because you're supposed to just play. The idea is that you play this on loop at nighttime and you fall asleep to the voice of Shang Li with some music in the background. It can be pretty effective. So far, it has 47k views, but I think it's been uh, pretty effective. A lot of people have been begging for there to be a longer version of this. I don't know. I really don't don't know but we'll, we'll take a listen to it for a little bit and just get an idea for it they also have a nice visual setting as well if you're wanting to watch it over here there we go trying to get the mood i'm just one point ahead well that was certainly a good game and so it kind of just goes on. You kind of have the setting. So if you're watching, you kind of get the feeling that you're fighting her in uh, Go, oh, the board game. You want to hear about where I learned chess? Or perhaps about my life experiences? And it is a very soothing voice where she, where she did it. Of Mount Firmament, you've glimpsed some of my past. And so you kind of get the idea. So there's that for five minutes long. You could set it on YouTube or on your phone to loop it. And you can just listen to that for hours upon end, falling asleep to it. And if you don't want that, you could always just watch it for five minutes or have it on loop and just mindlessly stare at uh, Shang Li's assets uh, as she says those soothing, soothing lines. Yeah, so that's kind of um, kind of the idea of like where we seem to see the direction of gotcha games potentially going down the line because it is very effective. It is very effective. Um, as I've said before, the comments are all positive outside of people wanting a longer version of this. And we're also kind of seeing it in other Hoyo games. I think we can definitely notice it in Zelda Zone Zero, because some of the characters and some of their kind of trailers and all that definitely accentuate things. And surprisingly enough, we also see kind of see it with Emily's like design and uh, demo as well, because they definitely are trying to make her into an attractive uh, character as well. But it's, yeah, even even chat, even chat wants to smash. But uh, but there's also another thing. Detroit Smash, Shangli isn't even American. There's no way. But I also want to kind of just like bring this as a topic because um, there is a new gacha game that I'm interested in called NTE Never to Everness that I've reacted to for a little bit. They're the same developers from Tower of Fantasy and because they are the same developers of Tower of Fantasy, I decided to just take a look at Tower of Fantasy and see what its recent updates are and I know it's still summertime so seeing certain things may not be surprising just because of the season it is but I was a little surprised about Tower of Fantasy. Now a lot of people would say Tower of Fantasy is a dead game and it's certainly really low on the charts in terms of monthly income uh, but when I went to check their YouTube page their most recent video when I looked at it was a little bit surprising to say the least and um here it is 20 seconds long new game simulacra dorm tower of fantasy now i haven't watched this yet we're gonna watch the first we're gonna watch the 30 or so seconds of this and i'm just gonna take a wild guess that they took notes from Snowbreak containment zone regarding like the side stuff and how you can have casual moments and they're implementing it in this game which is an mmo so i kind of feel like this could maybe work out potentially and you guys are kind of hearing my face Book notifications which is fine that's okay it'll probably be a few more uh, you know what i'm just gonna close my facebook goodbye facebook um so we're gonna take a look at what this is and we're gonna read some of the comments just to get an idea of what this is but uh 
Oh gosh, there's people barking in chat. Okay, can I join too? Here we go. Oh, they're going right off! Damn, son. I, this, this is exactly the same stuff from Snowbird. Oh my god, it's a nightgown. She can run. Dude, they're not cover. <laughs> There's no way. There is absolutely. They are. That is. Is that just me or is that more shameless than Snowbreak Containment Zone? Hello? Hello? That'd be some nice gat. Damn. Damn. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Uh, visit her dorm and see what items are there. Uh, pfft, items? I'm, I'm checking out the assets. Uh, get dorm vouchers in the event. Splendid. Oh, oh, even better. They're making it a limited time event to get some nice screen time with it. Whatever that character is, whoever that character is, some nightlife. Damn. Exchange them for exclusive items and unlock interaction auctions. Tower of Fantasy. Oh, this is a part for their second anniversary. Man, you really took note from Snowbreak Containment Zone and were like, yes, you doing that for your first anniversary? We're going to do this for our second. Hot damn. The Snowbreak effect is real. It is very real. I am actually shocked. I'm downloading the game back. <laughs> Shameless marketing. I love it. Yep. Yep. I think I'm going to start reacting to this game as well because I am shocked at what they're doing. And that's crazy. And again, and for people that just are just popping in right now, this is the MMO gotcha game Tower of Fantasy that was that most people would say flopped because it was uh, kind of indirectly marketed as the Genshin killer and uh, didn't do so well. Um, I take a stance of not touching MMOs ever just because the addiction can be real for me and I don't want to put put in that sort of time on an MMO because I already put time on gotcha games. Um, but yeah, if you're interested after watching that trailer, you can go ahead and deal with that by you better make sure you have good uh, internet connection for because it is an MMO. What is this? Oh, they're doing a full on summer. Okay, wait, chat, chat. R let's let's just watch this and then we'll dive 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 in. We need to watch the video again. How about watching a two minute twenty two second long video instead? <laughs> Here we go. And there's a reason why I have the flames in the background. Here we go. Hey, you. Yes, me. Oh. Oh. Are you awake? <laughs> I am awake now. Oh, I'm, I'm I am up in more ways than no. I'm I'm not going to go there. Hurry up! Ooh, they're very colorful. Jeez. The Don't keep them waiting. <laughs> Put this into never ever neverness. To, I can't say the why. God, there was so many things flashing and so many jiggles flashing in my. There's no way. I need this in Never Nest to Everness, and I'll be a very happy person playing that game. There is an ocean in that game, so. Sheesh! Who's she? You're here. I, I, bro. We'll definitely get our revenge today. Well, that was an interesting voice. I definitely won't go easy on you. Game on! Huh. Woo! That, there, I, 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 dude, 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 dude. Red team scores! I, they are just going in with a camera god damn who needs rule 34 when you can just play gotcha games am i right Amazing. <laughs> there's they eat they, i mean i know you do that in some sports but man it's up to you now dude i i should watch people play this event I, is, there, is there volleyball in this game is there beach volleyball in this game? Because uh, I'd watch some of that. 100%. Oh, darn it. We still That was cute. Wow. 
All right, I, I will say this much. This is the same developers that are making NTE Neverness to Everness. And I do plan on trying out Neverness to Everness. And um, I'm definitely going to play until summer hits that game because the summer event on that game better hit as hard as this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, chat. That's what we need. Uh, but going back onto the topic at hand, <laughs> Snowbreak Containment Zone definitely kind of just opened up Pandora's box for gotcha games, and we're probably going to see a next level of lewdness to gotcha games come, all thanks to them. They will be remembered as the game that opened up Pandora's lewd box for gotcha games. Like Nikkei, they had their jiggles and all that stuff, but it was like a bit of more of a gimmick. Snowbreak Containment Zone take, took it to the next level, and people, developers are following suit. They've taken notice. They, they see the potential income at that and they're they're delivering holy smokes jiggle coastline damn this video has more fan service than an edgy anime oh uh, yeah you're not wrong about that one. Oh, that, huh, that's, that's that video okay how am i supposed to focus on playing games after watching all of that i tell you damn